Hello, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we got a spicy one. I am going to be giving you five reasons why your Squarespace website isn't getting any or a lot of traffic. So, whew, okay. You guys probably, if you, if you know me, if you know who I am, you know that I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. So literally my entire job is about helping people with SEO so that they can get more traffic to their website, grow their brands, business, increase sales, all of that sort of thing. And you can't do that without website traffic, right? Like the entire point of having a website is that it's your home base online. It's where your ideal clients, your potential customers, um, people who are going to attend your events, whatever, they're going to find you often cases online. And then they're going to come to their website, check you out, you know, get the ball rolling from there, all of that sort of thing. So that's all of that is just to say that website traffic is so important. And the thing is, <laughs> it's like sink or swim. If you don't have any website traffic, then you're kind of screwed, right? Like, how are you going to grow your brand, your business, all of that sort of thing without website traffic? You can't, right? So I'm going to be giving you today five reasons why maybe you aren't getting any website traffic. And I'll also give you, obviously, the solutions for it, okay? Because, you know, <laughs> obviously, we're going to like give you that information. So we are going to dive straight into it. But before we do, I wanted to let you know that on my website here, and I'm going to link to it down below, I have a completely free Squarespace SEO checklist. And you can download it. Like I said, it's free. It's one page. It's been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So trust that you are in wonderful company with this. And whether you're a complete beginner who needs the step-by-steps laid out for them, or if you're like, okay, I'm a bit more intermediate and I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything, then again, this Squarespace SEO checklist is for you. It will make sure you've you know, dotted the I's, crossed the T's, and you've taken care of everything. So again, it's linked to down below, you grab a copy and you're welcome in advance. Okay. so. Let's dive straight into it. Let's talk about five reasons why your website might not be getting any traffic. And, you know, I always think about this for Squarespace websites because that's my area of expertise. But the thing is, like, even if you're on another platform, these tips are still going to apply to you. So the very first thing, number one, the main reason why your Squarespace website is probably not getting any or a lot of traffic is that... <laughs> It's probably like dormant or it's been a long time since you touched it. You haven't added any new content in like years, maybe. Hmm? I mean, even just take a look at this, like go to your website right now, do this and scroll down to the very bottom. What year is in the footer? Hmm? I'm recording this in 2022 and yours better say 2022, because if you haven't done that, then that indicates to me and any other person who's visiting your website that you're not really paying attention to things on your website. And the thing is that like, if the content on your website is old, it's dormant, it's out of date, then in Google's eyes, they're going to say, hey, that's actually not the most valuable or relevant or highest quality content that we can give someone doing an online search, right? Like, why would they give someone content that is so out of date or doesn't make sense anymore or all of these sorts of things? They're not going to. Like, Google would be doing a bad performance of their job if they returned your you know, bad, expired, old, out of date content, right? So that's probably the main reason. And the solution for that, of course, very easy, is it's time for you to just spend a little bit of time taking a look at the content on your website. When was the last time you updated it? When was the last time you changed some of the dates? Do you have something advertising an event that you hosted years ago that obviously you're not doing anymore? Like, go through and just make sure that the website is in fact up to date, that you're paying attention to it, that you're spending even a little bit of time ensuring that the website is not dormant and, you know, that it's a real active website that indicates to Google and a real person, your potential clients and customers, that this is a site that they should be checking out. It's worth their time and effort. And out of all of the millions and billions of websites out there, yours is one that they should look at. <laughs> Okay, point number two, ooh, this one's spicy, is that your content on your website, whether it's a web page, a blog post, a product description, whatever it is, the reason number two why it's not show, getting any traffic is that it's not competitive. Okay, and here's the funny thing. So people always say they're like, 
stay in your lane, put the blinders on, nah, nah, nah. and oftentimes I agree with that. However, I do not agree with that when it comes to SEO, because the thing is you have to be competitive. You need to know what you're up against so that you can be as good as or better than the content that is currently at the top of Google rankings, right? So let's say you go to your website and you're like, hmm, I'm a graphic designer in Boston. And you want that to be like, those are the keywords you want to search or that you want someone to search to land on your website. You go to Google, type in graphic designer in Boston and see who, who are you up against? Who is your competition? And look critically at that. Be like, what are their websites like? What kind of content do they have here? How long are their service pages? Um, do you have long form content? Are you including like, you know, do, on your own website, are you including long form content? Do you have keywords in place? Do you have a nice mix of text and images? Like all of that sort of thing, right? So again, you need to make sure that you are in fact creeping the competition to see what you're up against right? This is not the time to just kind of like hope for the best. No, 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 no. You need to put yourself in, you know, put your little like spy glasses on, see what you're up against, creep the competition. You can do it through simple Google searches and then kind of reverse engineer it from there to make your content competitive. And in Google's eyes, they're automatically going to be then like, okay, well, I guess <laughs> this content is now competitive. So they'll return you higher in the search results. Okay problem and answer. Love that. Okay. Point number three, the third reason why your website might not be getting much or any traffic is because your website is slow to load. That means you have a long page load time or page load speed. Sometimes you might hear that. And the most common reason for it, there's kind of a twofold. The first reason is maybe you have a lot of images on your website, but they're incorrectly um, formatted. So maybe they have a really massive file size. And obviously the bigger the file size, the, the larger the image file, and it's going to be slower for it to load. Right. So that's one reason. And the second reason, which I'm going to link to it up above, I've got some, um, I've got another video that talks about this is that there might be some like code, unnecessary code on the page that's slowing down the page load speed. So again, take a look at that. If you're like, oh my God, do I have that code on my website? Take a look at that one. And with the images down below as well in the description, I'm going to link to my image guidelines for Squarespace SEO, which is if you have any webs, any images on your website, it's a no brainer to make sure that you're naming file formatting, sizing, compressing your images correctly, all that sort of thing. And so the solution for improving the page load speed is again, to just spend some time improving the images so that they're not as big and they're not slowing down the page load. And if the problem is that you have like redundant code that you don't need anymore, then you can maybe tidy that up or remove it altogether. And this is gonna have a really big impact because again, remember in Google's eyes, they're gonna look at your website and be like, well, if the content isn't even showing up or the person needs to wait like, you know, 10 seconds to even access the content, then in Google's mind, they're like, it's not the best one. Why would we return it so high, right? So they're penalizing you for it. But if you fix the issue, then they will return you higher in search results. And as a result, you're gonna get more traffic to your website, which we love. Okay, point number four is that you do not have any backlinks to your website. That's an issue, right? So remember, a backlink, basically, in case you're like, well, it's not. A backlink is anytime another website links to you. Okay. So you have your website over here and then somewhere on the internet, there's another link. It could be like a guest blog post, which I've talked about up here. It could be um, an interview you did, a media feature. It could be a Q and A. It could be some like, um, you know, anything, any type of anything where you're mentioned on another website that's sending a link to you. And links, backlinks are really important for Squarespace SEO or SEO on any website, because again, it helps to strengthen your domain authority. It means in Google's eyes, essentially, you're more legit. They're like, oh, well, if lots of people, quality, high quality websites with often, you know, relevant content and keywords, if they think this is worth it, then maybe we should check it out and like value it higher, okay? So the solution for that is to get more backlinks from other websites, get more backlinks to your site. So again, that could be like 
pitching for blog posts. It could be getting more media features. Maybe you use like a tool like Hero. Hero is help a reporter out. And it's just ways to get like quotes and features on, you know, in media basically. But backlinks is a really good one. So if you don't already, you know, you can check the analytics on your website and see, do I have any backlinks or any links coming in from other websites? And if not, then like, perhaps that's something that you should be working on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then point number five, this one is specifically for those of you who are maybe more interested in local SEO, or, you know, you're trying, you have like a bricks and mortar, like physical location, or you're serving clients in a specific area. So, you know, like serving clients in a specific area, maybe you're a photographer and you work in Boston, Boston area or something, right? But you don't necessarily have a physical location, but you like work in a location. Do you know what I mean? That's local SEO. So the thing for this is that if you do not have point number five, if you don't have a Google My Business profile set up, then that is something that might be stopping you from getting more traffic to your website. And again, in Google's mind, they want to see that you're making use of all of their different features and functionalities. And Google My Business is a way to do this. And with Squarespace, they have an integration with Google My Business. So it's like really, really easy to set up. But the thing is, maybe you just didn't even know <laughs> that this was something to do. So that's why I'm teaching you. And again, I've got a video that I'll link to up here that talks about Google My Business a bit more. So it's really great. And it's quite, it's free, first of all, and it's fast to set up. So if you haven't set one up yet already, please do that, especially if you're a, have a physical location for your business or you serve um, like a local area, okay? And creating and connecting your Squarespace website to Google My Business is definitely going to help, again, validate your website in Google's eyes, help strengthen it, make it much more of a priority in these local searches, and then they'll show you higher in it. So you'll get more traffic that way. All right. Those are five reasons. It's not the exhaustive list, but that's just, you know, five that I wanted to talk about today. Reasons why you might not be getting any or a lot of traffic to your Squarespace website. And like I always say, there's an answer to every problem. So if you noticed as you were going through this list and you're like, yikes, I'm, I'm not doing very well on this, then the good news is that you can always fix it and do better, okay? And again, one of the tools that's gonna help you with that is to grab that um, Squarespace SEO checklist. Remember I linked to it, I think it's down in the description. Grab that, work your way through it, and you know, go through these other sections as well to make sure that your website is on as strong of a foundation as you can do. And you know, you can also take a look at more things about Squarespace SEO here on my YouTube channel. I talk about Squarespace SEO, web design, development, online marketing, all that sort of thing. And, you know, view the, watch the videos, binge the blog posts, do whatever it is. And don't worry, SEO is wonderful because it really is a bit of a snowball effect. Once you make some of these changes, you fix a few of these items, your progress will happen and it can really start to, like I said, snowball amongst itself. And I love this because even if you were getting not a lot of traffic or any traffic one day, that doesn't, doesn't mean it's forever, okay? There's always time to improve it and get really good results, which will in turn help you to get in front of more of your ideal audience, grow your brand, grow your business, increase sales, book more services, sell out your events, all that sort of thing. So my friend, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy the checklist that I linked to. Um, like the video, leave me a comment or a question if you have any. And otherwise, I will see you again soon in the next video. And take care until then, okay?